Hey, 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 it's me once again, you know, guide a light to help you through the night. I have this situation going on in my life, and it made me think, I need to tell you to stop doing it to yourself, because I'm encountering people that are doing it, and the way that you speak to yourself is very important. Like, you should be your own best friend. You should be the love of your life. And if you're meeting people and you say, I'm not good enough for them, you're tearing yourself down. Understand, you are as good as you need to be. You're awesome. You're great. Don't compare yourself to other people where their life is at, the jobs they have, the money they have, whatever it is they have going on in their life. It's not about you. It's their life. So when you meet people and you want to try to entertain relationships, friendships, whatever it is, don't sit there and start telling yourself, I don't deserve them in my life. Because anyone that's in your life is meant to be in your life. Anyone that's not supposed to be in your life will be extracted from your life by spirit. It's There's a lot of divinely orchestrated things that go on in this planet within our lives that we don't know exist and they might not even make sense. But like I said, when it comes down to it and you're telling yourself, I don't deserve that, you're not going to get that. And then you're tearing yourself down. It's almost like you're shadow boxing your own self and you're destroying yourself. And then you start having these hurt feelings, you know, because you're going around self-sabotaging. Because like I said, you're going to attract who needs to be in your life. And the situation I've been dealing with is I've tried to date people and the more they get to know me, they're like, you're too good for me. Okay, I'm sorry you feel that way. And maybe it's because they're being initiated to go break up with their ego. <laughs> I don't know. I've realized I trigger a lot of people to start healing guess that's what I'm here for. Just like I'm assuming I've triggered some of you on a healing path or you're already on one and it's kind of like the fuel source to propel you forward. But either way it goes, when you're stuck in your mind about your own value, a lot of times it boils down to um, like your upbringing, how you were treated, the friends you had, the choices you've made. There, there's so many different elements that play into why we feel the way we feel. And if you're feeling worthless or not good enough, I want you to start telling yourself self every day, I am more than enough. I am more than enough. I have the ability to feel love. I have the ability to give love. I have the ability to choose. I have the ability to accept myself. It's okay. I know it's scary, especially when you're with people that make you feel inferior. And I, I'm a very strong cup of tea. <laughs> like, I, I don't tolerate a lot of bullshit. I read through people in an instant. I am really um, non-confrontational. I have let people push me away, and I don't cling to them because I know my own value. I know that if they're being removed from my life, it's for a reason. And the more that you can be okay and comfortable with yourself, the more you're okay with things shifting in your life. Because that's the only constant we can rely on in this life is change. It's inevitable. You can wake up feeling on top of the world. And by the end of the day, you can feel like the biggest piece of shit in the world. And it all depends on how you approach yourself. How you can ignore the temper tantrums of other people. It's like yesterday I was at uh, the light on my way back to work and there wasn't anybody across the way from me. And the other car in front of me was already turning and I started turning. And all of a sudden there's this man behind me blaring his horn, flipping the bird. And I'm like, where did it, I don't know where he even came from. And I just like 
waved in my rear view like, sorry. And my windows are always down. My music is always going. He goes around me and flips me the bird again. I'm just like, there you go. Like, it's your show. <laughs> Gets in front of me. Flips me off again. All I could do is shoot him a peace sign at this point because you're having a really bad day. I don't, I had nothing to do with it. And it's funny because his license plate said repo me. And I thought, I don't know why you even go on around town acting crazy because you're so easy for me to call the police and say you're harassing me or you're being whatever. Either way it goes, didn't let him pull me up out of my day is going to be okay. He decides to slam on his brakes and try to make me rear end him going like 10 miles an hour and then speeding up and slowing down. Luckily, I didn't have that far to go to get to my next light. And I didn't even put my blinker on because I was like, this man is extremely hostile. He's having a bad day, obviously. Send him love and light and let him go on his way. And he even stalled at the light that I was going to turn at to kind of see where I was going. And I thought, that's why I didn't use the blinker. And I turned and it was almost like he, I could feel him go, oh. I don't have anything to take my anger out on. And if you're going through life like that, that was just to illustrate that you can have a really good day, but for somebody that is bitter or doesn't feel good about themselves or non-motivated, that's something that could ruin your day. That's something that can take you from, oh, I'm loving life to fuck everybody. I hate everybody. There's nothing good in this world. It, it's kind of a way to trigger you to see how you're going to handle it. Like I said, I could have sat there and been just as nasty as he was. What would that accomplish? Nothing. It would ruin the rest of my day. It would put a different energy that I am putting out into the world. So instead, like I said, I know my value. I know where I stand in my life. I know what I'm capable of. And I don't let other people make me feel insecure. You could put me in a room of Hollywood elites and I'd still walk in knowing they're human. Who are they? They're people, just like we're people. And there's no need to let anybody else make you feel as if you are not worth anything in this world or that you have to amount to something to be in their presence. Yes, I am very stingy with my energy at times, but I'm also very giving. But that's because I know what I bring to the table. And I expect people to pour back because we give and take in this world. We fill each other up. But if you're constantly, I'm pouring in your glass and you just pouring it out, why would I keep giving to you? That's where it becomes, you go do you and I'm going to be here and be me. Because... Don't let anyone drain you or suck you dry. But just the same, don't let anybody tell you that you're worthless because you're here for a reason. Even if it's to learn to love and accept yourself again, you're here for a reason. And I will tell you again, you are more valuable than anything because you're you. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to feel loved. And I know it's uncomfortable, especially if you've been raised in a toxic household, toxic environments. You've been berated. That didn't want to come out. Belittled. You've been torn down your whole life. And not many people are going to come to build you up because they hurt too. So what you have to do is start building yourself up and know that you are special in your own right, whatever it is. If you put a smile on somebody's face any day, you possibly could have saved their life. You were a light in someone else's life. If you gave direction and that person learned, you helped to educate them. There's so much more that is within you that isn't acknowledged. Because it doesn't have to do with money. It doesn't have to do with um, career or status or anything that really has no spiritual value to it. But when you can start looking within yourself and realize that it's your ego that's tearing you down. A lot of times you'll begin to have this toxic battle within yourself. 
good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. And you'll start feeling, you're, you will start destroying yourself. Because as your ego is trying to die, you're making it die. Your spirit is rising. And then there's this conflict that begins to occur. No, you need me. No, no, I don't. And it's a driving, let's say the driver of the vessel is changing. And the old captain doesn't want to give up. But the old captain serves no purpose other than to make you feel less than what you are. Make you lose opportunities. Make you feel like you don't deserve good things in life. The thing that holds you back is the thing that's been driving your vessel. The ego. Oh, they were looking at me. And your head can swell. And the truth was never even whispered in your ear. But as... You decide to say, I don't need that anymore. I know who I am. I have a side of me that can be soft, loving, vulnerable, accepting, especially to myself. Because when you can do it for yourself, you don't need anyone else to do it. And when you do it for yourself, other people can't shake you. There's no more of this, I don't know what to think. What are they, if I wear this, what are they going to say about me? If I, if I don't wear makeup, are they going to, they're going to judge me. They're, they're, I just, I can't. You can change your mindset. You can change the captain of your vessel. And yes, it's going to be tumultuous because there is going to be an internal battle that is occurring. But I will tell you, when you can release ego because there's no need to survive and you allow spirit to take over and you can thrive, you will see that the battle was so much worth it that you can finally go, oh, you love me and I love you too. And oh my God, I've never felt this warm and comfy in my life. You're like home. And, and you can have good, healthy relationships with friends and family and no more gossiping and talking behind the back and no more chaos. It's really, I won't say easy, because battle is never easy for anyone. But you have to prepare yourself mentally, on a heart level, an energetic level. You have to be able to say, okay, I'm tired and I'm going to take a break. And the one thing you should never do to yourself is tear you down. The rest of the world is already working to do that. So I'm urging you right now to hear me and accept it in your heart that you are perfect the way you are. You have your struggles just like I have my struggles. We're not all open and honest about what we're going through in life. Some things would make people cringe. Some things would put people in a fetal position rocking because you couldn't imagine the darkness that is they're having to entertain. But you have to go through the darkness to get to the light. And then once you're in the light, you can see everything. You can begin to see Who's provoking? Who's attacking? What's going on? And now you're guarded. So, if you're ready, you have a captain for your vessel that's ready to step up. Go ahead and take the upgrade. I promise you it will be worth it no matter what. So, sending you peace, love, and light. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.